first couple days here, we've been dodging monsoon rain and thunderstorms. Coming up on our first train tunnel. So last night I charged Elaine's e-bike battery. Good day, folks. I'm Tim, and you're watching The Adventures of Two Wheel Tim. And today, Elaine, Hazel, and I are up at Eagle Lake outside of Susanville, California, and we're camping with our e bikes. For our first couple days here, we've been dodging monsoon rain and thunderstorms. And today's the first day that we get a chance to get the bikes out. Here's a view of our campsite in the lake, and Elaine over there getting ready to ride. There's still some clouds in the sky, but we're gonna go ahead and take the bikes out anyway and take a little spin around the lake. Eagle Lake is located 16 miles north of Susanville, California in Lassen County. Eagle Lake sits at 5,100 feet of elevation and is the second largest freshwater lake in California. Eagle Lake offers plenty of recreational opportunities. Camping, swimming, fishing, hiking, and biking are all popular activities at Eagle Lake, and Eagle Lake includes a five mile long bike path. In addition to riding our e-bikes on the bike path, Elaine and I even managed to do some uh, stand-up paddleboarding during our stay. We finished our day with a climb up the very bumpy dirt road to the Osprey Overlook to catch a sunset over the lake. So we're here at the campsite, it's the next morning, and I have the Jackery Explorer 500 and the Solar Saga 100. Last night I charged Elaine's e-bike battery, 9%, and I charged my two batteries that combined 6%, and then I also charged two GoPro batteries and two cell phones 
overnight. I have 43% battery left. And uh, so I'm just gonna go and set this up here and charge it up. The one thing that's really cool about the Solar Saga is that it has the cable that plugs into the Jackery obviously to charge it, but it also comes with a USB-C and a USB-A charge port as well. So if you wanted to plug in a couple of other items in line and charge, via solar, you could do so. So at this moment, you'll see that I have the solar panel plugged in and it's drawing 58 watts. Uh, so as the sun continues to rise in the sky through the day, it should pick up more wattage. So we're just gonna set this jackery behind the solar panel to keep it in the shade and we'll see how it does. Okay, got the two jugs ready, the Bike Tricks Alter Beast 2 and the Bike Tricks Hub Duo. We have the two trailers ready for today's ride. Got a tool kit with some tools, pumps, tubes, a couple locks in case we decide to stop and jump in a creek and go swimming. And of course, the batteries that need to go on the Ultra Beast 2 and the Hub Duo. This is the 1UP Super Duty Receiver Hitch Rack. It's rated for up to 75 pounds per tray, and it holds up to 225 pounds total. The Ultra Beast 2 is 76 pounds without the batteries, and the Hub Duo is 62 pounds without the batteries. So of course, we do load them without the batteries. Okay, so as you can see, the bikes are all loaded. One thing you have to be really aware of is that if you have two bikes, there is the possibility of the bikes hitting together. And what I noticed before we left was that Elaine's rack arm, if it sways, it'll bump into my fork. So I took a pool noodle for a pad and I velcroed it around my fork so that if Elaine's bike bounces, it won't damage my fork. It's definitely not the perfect e-bike rack, I think, but it works. Okay, we're in Susanville at the beginning of the Biz Johnson Trail and we're getting ready to go for our afternoon ride. It's about 90 degrees and really hot. We have water, food, toolkit, and everything we hope we'll need. The Biz Johnson Trail is the old railroad bed. The historic Susanville Railroad Depot was built by the Southern Pacific Railroad in 1927 and is a historical landmark that marks the culture and heritage of the region. The depot also serves as the main trailhead for the Biz Johnson National Recreation Trail. Named for Harold T. Biz Johnson, the Biz Johnson National Recreation Trail follows the old Fernley Lassen Branch line of the Southern Pacific Railroad. So far, we're about five miles in. We're taking a little water break. Hazel sniffing the ground. We might try to find a swimming hole somewhere because it's really hot. A 25.4 mile converted railroad bed winding from Susanville, California to Mason Station. This so much reminds me of when I was a child growing up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. They used to run narrow gauge railroads through the mountains from Santa Cruz to San Jose and the Bay Area all the way through around the 1950s. And then they abandoned the railroad beds and just left these trails, these bare railroad beds. As kids, we cut our teeth riding our BMX bikes up and down these railroad beds. As the trail winds through the rugged Susan River Canyon, the trail crosses 12 bridges and trestles. We're coming up on our first train tunnel here on the Biz Johnson Trail. And also passes through two tunnels. And then about seven miles into our ride, things got a little strange.
Okay, well here we are by the Biz Johnson Trail. And as you just saw, we had a little minor mechanical mishap. Elaine's burly trailer's wheel fell off. I checked the tightness before we came out and they seemed fine. Nothing serious happened, the wheel fell off, the axle's bent, so I was able to straighten the axle gently so it didn't crack or break. We're just gonna take it slow and easy on the way back and make sure this little one gets home and make sure she gets home. <laughs> Okay, Elaine, so the trailer mishap today with the wheel fell off on the Biz Johnson Trail. Do you want to share why you think that probably happened? That day we went to go meet friends for mimosa brunch. I rode one of my friends who was over the weight limit in the trailer several miles down the road to get to the beach. How's the ride? Is that comfy? She loves it. That's a workout. <laughs> like, yeah, look at him go. And so I think she kind of bent the axle, which is why it probably fell. And it had nothing to do with the manufacturer of the equipment. It had everything to do with the user error. And Hazel, I'm so sorry because you were really scared when the wheel fell off. And now it was my turn for strange or maybe just stupid. I hit a pine cone. Well, there you go. Stupidity 101. I was so busy taking video that I missed a pine cone in the middle of the trail. Broke my mirror. Got the beast a little dusty. I got a couple scrapes. And I'm a little dirty. And I've had worse. But let this be a lesson to me. Pay attention to the trail. <laughs> Just take a much needed dip in the creek over here. Now we're gonna have some lunch and head on the way back. All right, we're lunched up and cooled off and ready to go for the trip back. They're the creature in the woods. Don't make a sound. A gentle 3% grade and wide gravel surface make the BJT perfect for hiking, biking, and horseback riding. The Biz Johnson also appears to be the main training route for the local high school's cross-country team. information about the Susanville Railroad Depot, check out the link in the description below. Okay, so today's ride was about 14 and a half miles, a couple of mishaps. <laughs> Nothing more than a couple scrapes, bruises, and mostly bruise egos. Uh, we didn't have any more mishaps on the way home, so it worked out really well, but it's just one of those things. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the ride today. I just want to remind you that if you like our content, please be sure to subscribe, like our videos, ring the bell for notifications, and leave your comments and questions below. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you in the next one.